Another beautiful sunny day. <laughs> Welcome back to the Yorkshire Dales. I'm going to go on a memory lane today. On the horizon there you can see that little, uh, where is it now? There. A minute. There. <laughs> There's an old uh, Royal Observer post. Uh, and I used to work down there for some considerable years. Um, I'm on the official footpath to it, but actually we used to come through that gate, so... <laughs> I'm starting from this gate here, and I've found a button. <laughs> Wasn't one of ours, that's for sure. Little steps up the mound to the hatchway there. And uh, 15 feet underground there, there's a communication centre. Very well padlocked. We got one, two, three, four padlocks on the top there and internal locking as well. So I <laughs> don't even think of coming into this place. <laughs> uh, memories. So, how's that for a view? Chewits down there, look. Whoa. That's the Air Valley going up to Malham. Ingleborough's in the mist, you can't see it. Oh, Flogging a dead horse in here, there's too much iron junk about. <laughs> Over there, that's where I got all those 303s when I come up here with Paul. Uh, I'm just on the other side of the road and I've just got another 303 now it's just dawned on me of course <laughs> uh, during the war that there they'd have all been up there um, observing aircraft and they were all armed they all had rifles so no wonder I'm getting a lot of 303s great big stonking signal right on the surface sounded like a tin can uh, but here we go Come on, you should know these by now. This is my third one in a week. It's a Dalton Supplies Limited buckle. Look. Hey, got around a bit up here. <laughs> Walloping thing. Door handle. Door knob, I should say. Right, I'm back where I was with Paul. I got a feeling with the two of us working we may have missed quite a bit of this ground just to stay out of one another's way and uh, pretty much close into the gate look uh, half penny 1921 is that 1921 eyesight's going but the amazing thing about this look it's had a bang on the back right dead smack in the middle look I'm wondering if they used it as target practice. Another 303. I'm doing a very, very careful search up the top here. I'm sure they missed a bit of silver. Not quite sure what you are. Another 303. <laughs> and another 303. But come on, what else did you drop? And yet another one. These 303s are getting like uh, damn ring tabs, aren't they? <laughs> and yet another one. <laughs> I got a stud to relieve the monotony, but I didn't film it. Ah. Well, I just started to go for a walk about in this big field and... 1862 Victorian Halfpenny, no reason to be here. <laughs> but I shall have a look all around. Oh, God, it's hot. <laughs> Oof. There's clouds in the sky, but none of them seem to want to go in front of the sun. <laughs> now, the only trees in the area are the, where I got that um, Dutch custom house lead seal down there. And Paul got that quid over there. So, I've been drawn back to this place. <laughs> uh, trouble is, I've been here about five times. And I'm still finding stuff. Keep getting drawn back to it. 
Hmm. That little paddock there is very interesting, but the grass is too long in the next field. Oh, hey, you might recognise this bull. You remember doing from the edge of that wall across to where the gate used to be over that side? And I did from here to my detector. Well, that bit in between we didn't do. <laughs> I've just been over it. And I've got some nice relics. I've had one of these before from down by the church. Of course, I left my camera here, didn't I? It's too hot to tote anything around. Big chunk of work lead. Big piece of copper. Nice buckle. Nice buckle. A half penny Vicky. Um, I'm not sure what you are. <laughs> Another buckle. And a nut. We missed them. <laughs> I'm going back there now. Uh, I'm sat in a shade over by those trees. Because, God, it's hot out there. Too hot. If I had not started found, finding stuff, I, I would have gone home. But, mad dogs and Englishmen were out there. Oh, do you like me HMS Albion hat? Nuclear submarine built at Barra. <laughs> now that's a different story. Okay, that's my lot for today. I've just uh, over there um, four candle and that stud, brass, nut, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll go home now. Get the missus out for her tea. <laughs> So say goodbye to the Yorkshire Dales for today. Done not bad. <laughs> Three buckles, four buckles, can't remember. Done not bad. Bye. See you at the roundup. Hello. Welcome to the roundup. Had an interesting day today. Set off on a <laughs> memory lane. Found nothing, too much junk. Moved over to where I was with Paul the other day and uh, found a few more 303s. <laughs> and then went down, I got drawn to that um, place where I reckoned was the sort of a meeting place where all the work used to go on. I'm sure it did. And it, it produced a lot of buckles. So, oh, what the heck. Let's start with junk guy. Copper, nut, nozzle of something, bit of copper. Look at the thickness of this is wire is this of this those main transformers. Oh this must be some power going through them cables. Chunk of lead, chunk of lead, chunk of lead. Bit of um I don't know what. <laughs> that looks like it's off an LED torch, one of these modern Chinese efforts. So, um doorknob. <laughs> the other day I got the drain plug, now I got the drain. <laughs> I wonder what that was for a while. It's a sink drain, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, three or threes. Um, a bit of on it work there. Uh, hmm. It's a... Uh, yeah, fastens onto something. As usual, no idea what. Little thing here, I thought this was off a bike cog, you know, chain, but no, it's, there's a little pulley in there. It's off a little uh, winch of some description. Again, I do know what for. Right, look at that. Look at that, 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 that long thing. Huge copper spike. And it's manufactured, see it's chamfered on, on the edges. It was bent in half, but the minute I tried to straighten it, with it the, the copper's just gone brittle. It just snapped straight off, boom. I could have blown on it till it would have broke. But that is one copper spike. I don't know what these are used for, but look, it's man-made, it's chamfered on, on each side. 
and then this. Uh, I've had two of these now. Um, I know on the end of there, there's there's the ends missing with a hole for screwing it onto it, and here there's uh, one, two. There's two more little bobbles missing off the end here, and then the hole for screwing it down. Um, I thought it was something to do with the church pews, but I'm not too sure now at all what that is. It's something to do with horses. It must be. Always is. <laughs> Spoon handle. Copper. Hey look. Buckles. Buckles coming out of that place where I say hey. Something's going on there. And I'm desperately trying to get some Georgian silver out of it. But it's not playing ball. Let's give me uh, two more buckles. And the Dalton buckle of course. <laughs> look there we go. Dalton. Three of those in a week. You know, you don't get any, then all of a sudden, bang, 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 bang. It's the way it goes. Uh, that's that's a doorknob, obviously. Cupboard knob. Um, oh, top. Top of, of, of a bottle, you know, or, um, a cruet or something like that. There, there it goes in. That's a stud, I think. Oh, now. Is this part of a... I, I thought at first this, this could have been part of um, Maybe still is... Thimble. But then when I saw that little hole there at the top, I thought, ah, no, this is... Ah, see, no, that, you, that doesn't work because you couldn't get your finger in. It's part of a... It's bottom of a cane, isn't it? It's the uh, the metal guard at the bottom of the cane. Hey hey, little button. Three coins. We got this um, this 1921, which uh, was in the middle of these bullets. So it's obviously come from from the observers up there when they were um, du during World War Two. Got one significant bang in it. Look. I'm just wondering if that got hit by a bullet. They had a habit of firing at coins where I live. And then this came out of this field with the buckles. Been there a while. It's um it's a Vicky. And then this one, also Victoria, 1862, popular year, 1862 for coins, for Vicky coins. And I got that in the middle of that huge big paddock. Anyway, I had a good day out. I got <laughs> overheated. <laughs> uh, mustn't go out in the sun too much. But somebody said, well, stand in the shade. Trees up there are few and far between. <laughs> but some interesting stuff. If anybody knows what these spikes are for. Um, and this. Couldn't identify this last time. So, there you go. So, as I say, it's out there. Go get it. A little bit disappointed there was no silver there. Uh, I'm trying desperately to get silver out of that, that particular site where these are coming from. So I'll give it another go. Okay then, good luck, happy hunting. Till I see you next time. Bye.